Okay, the first thing you got to do is create a folder. We'll put it on your desktop because it's the easiest place to find things. So you right click in an empty area of your desktop and you go down and you pick new and then folder. Okay, now you've got a new folder. It's blue there so you can type in the name, call it uh, lyrics. Okay, and that's where you're going to put your lyrics. Okay, so then you go out and find a lyric. Let's go find a lyric for uh, Donna Summer on the radio. On the radio lyrics. Okay, we'll find here's one here on the radio lyrics. Something that's nice and straightforward. There we go. Um, okay, so I will copy this. Slide it, uh, using my left mouse button. I'm scrolling down and selecting just the stuff I want. Okay, I stop there. I release the button. I right click in the blue area and pick copy. Got it. Then we got to go into what's called Notepad. So I click the Start button, bottom left hand corner, type Notepad, and see how Notepad comes up here? That's what it looks like. Click Notepad, and right click and paste. And there's the radio lyrics. And then you have to, um, you know, put your chords in. And uh, based on what I was given, um, uh, let's see, I gotta go actually look at them. I'll show you one that I've actually got done here. I'm gonna, it's right here on the radio. What you gotta do is you gotta make it look like this. So using your space bar, you space over and line up the chords over top of your words. So, um, so like, okay, so the e, e minor seventh, A minor, and D. Okay, so back to where we were. Okay, here we are. So we got to type in E minor seventh space over using the space bar. Uh, was it A minor? I think A minor, and then D. Oh, capital D. Okay, and then you got to you got. Well, what I usually do is after that I just hit the right arrow, and that takes me to the beginning of the next line. And then I can use the down arrow, and then I can hit the enter key to pull the next line down. Or you could just go ahead and do that right now. You know, make up, put, you know, use your down arrow and your enter key to put your spaces in, and then you space over and type in your lyrics. So that's what you need to do. And once you get it done, and it looks something like this, then you go, okay, file, save as, okay. And we're gonna save it as. And you're going to type in the name on the radio. Now, you need to put it in the folder. Right now, I'm at my desktop. Uh, over here, right, over here. That's where you find desktop. So, right, so I, I'll go back and do that again. Go File, Save As. Over here is your desktop. And in that is all your stuff on your desktop. And in there, you got to find your lyrics folder, right? There it is. You gotta double click on it to open it, and there's nothing in there so far. And now I've typed in the name on the radio, and I'm gonna click save. And now it's in there. I can go look at it. I'm gonna close Notepad, um, and I'll go in the lyrics, and there it is on the radio. If I double click on it, it will open it in Notepad. See, it's open in Notepad, and I can change it. I can add. I only did part of it. I only did the first uh, verse and chorus. Um, you still got to go down and finish it. But anyway, so that's what you have to do for all of your songs. You have to follow those instructions and build your, uh, your uh, folder full of your lyrics. Once you do that, then it's easy for us to modify them to work on LyricPad. So that's step one.